Before I start, I would like to make two requests. First of all, um, there's a lot of beauty in the room, so am I allowed to take off my glasses, please? Now I can see you guys clearly, so please can you give yourselves a beautiful round of applause, please? Hello everyone. My name is Henry Akeze, and I am a native of Nigeria. When I was five years old, I used to think that life was always going to be beautiful. This was up until June 28, 2001, when I lost my mother after a long fight with stomach cancer. I did not really understand the full meaning of death. I mean, I was, I was just six. But I just regretted not being able to give her a last kiss. Having eight children, of which I was the last, my father had to work longer hours to make sure that ends met and that we were all in school. Things were looking a little bit better up until April 1st, 2007, when I lost him to diabetes. I was just 13. That was the first and last April Fool's act I ever got to. After my father's death, my older siblings had to take on the role of a parent, even while they were still in college. This was a very hard time for us, but we just had to endure because there was no one else we could run to. Even though my father left on a very short notice, he made one point clear while he was alive. He said he wanted all of his children to get a college degree. Though he had dropped out of school himself when his father died when he was pretty much young, he still knew the ultimate value of education. Once after coming back from Germany, a trip I would never forget, he said that he promised that he would send I and my sister abroad to study. When he died, that dream seemed blurred. But then I decided to take his advice and still believe it could still happen. In 2014, I was admitted into college in the United States. As an international student, I have to tell you, the application process was rigorous. The worst part was getting rejected by the same schools that gave you acceptance hope through their weekly newsletters. <laughs> Many times I felt like giving up, but I just remembered my father and I was strengthened. After three years, the help of family paid off. Three years of stress and pain. I got admitted into the Mississippi Valley State University. That's it! That's it! On a full academic scholarship, so I had to pay for nothing. I felt like my father was somewhere smiling with me as I read my acceptance letter. On getting to college, a friend of mine, who's actually in the crowd with you, introduced me to Turbo Marshall College Fund and told me about the Leadership Institute. I did not know how much of a big deal it was to like you to the Institute myself. As you guys are here tonight, I know you can feel the energy. Although I was told that freshmen could not apply for the Institute, I mean, I applied anyway. <laughs> My dire need for assistance and exposure to opportunities at the time was motivation for me. In the summer of 2015, I got an email that totally changed my life from Miss Bernay Long. And the email said, congratulations, you've been accepted to attend the Annual Leadership Institute. As an international student and a first semester sophomore at the time, I did not have priority to the invitations to come over here. I had a roommate, he went to interviews back to back to back. I was just there going to play the <laughs> but with the boost from Mr. Johnny Taylor, which was also great this year, which was powerful, I networked and I got three interviews at the end of the first night. I went to every interview believing that I deserved the internship position. And a day, I will never forget, November 15, 2015, I got a call from Keisha Williams with Walmart. And she, <laughs> and she said, Henry, do you want to walk with me? I said, it's cold outside, I can walk. <laughs> and she said, no, I meant you want to work with me. <laughs> and this was officially and unofficially my acceptance into the internship program. I was the only sophomore selected for that program, even though I was told I had to be at least a junior to be on the program. I also left the institute with a thousand dollars from Microsoft. Thank you, Microsoft. I thank you. And I went to a TMC of ambassador position. Today as, a, today, as a proud ambassador of TMCM, I can never stop singing its praises. 
In college, I liked basically nothing, you know. I was an orphan from 13. But I liked basically nothing because Turbo Marshall College Fund deemed it worthy to make me one of its scholars. A gesture I'll forever be grateful for. Thanks to TMCF, as you guys can see today, my life is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.